Hello everyone. Surely anyone who has ever studied micro controllers and made simple applications has heard of this module. It's called THT11. A sensor that reads temperature data and humidity. Most current processors can communicate and read THT11 sensors, such as TI, ARM, PIC, Atmega, 8051. However, do you really know how to interface control with this sensor when there are no libraries available? How to program a project to read data from this sensor yourself? Let's learn through this video. THT11 is a simple and easy to learn module for beginners. It is a low cost digital temperature and humidity sensor with price around $5. THT11 sensor provides relative humidity value in percentage from 20 to 90 percent and temperature values in degrees Celsius from 0 to 50. THT11 is a 4 pin sensor. VCC pin, which is the power supply, has a value from 3 volt to 5.5 volt. Data pin is a digital output pin, with two output voltage levels, VCC and GND. One logic corresponds to VCC voltage level, and zero logic corresponds to GND voltage level. The NC pin, is reserved, and, not in use. And the last pin, GND is the ground. To communicate with the DHT11 module, we need to power the DHT11 through the VCC and GND pins, and connect the data pin to any GPI open of the microcontroller. Here are some examples of the connection between the DHT11 and the microcontrollers of TI, Node MCU, Arduino, and Raspberry Pi. So, how to communicate with DHT11? DHT11 uses only one wire for communication. The voltage levels with certain time value defines the logic 1 or logic 0 on this pin. The communication process is divided in three steps. First is to send request to DHT11 sensor. Next, the sensor will send response pulse and then it starts sending data of total 40 bits to the microcontroller. During the start pulse period, also known as phase request, we need to send DHT11 the start pulse to the sensor. To provide start pulse, we need set the MQ pin as output. Pull down the data pin at least 18 milliseconds and pull up the data pin. After getting start pulse, DHT11 sensor sends the response pulse which indicates that it received the request signal. The response pulse is low for 54 microseconds and then goes high for 80 microseconds. To check the response from DHT11, we need Set the MQ pin as input pull up. Check if the MQ pin goes low. And the last check if the MQ ping goes high. After sending the response pulse, DHT11 sensor sends the data, which contains humidity and temperature value along with check tune. For zero bit representation, the response pulse is low for 54 microseconds and then goes high for 24 microseconds. For one bit representation, the response pulse is low for 54 microseconds and then goes high for 70 microseconds. To read data from DHT11, we need Count how long it takes the MQ pin to go low and go high. If the high time is greater than the low time, then it is logic 1. If the high time is less than the low time, then it is logic 0. The data frame is of total 40 bits long, 
It contains five segments. And each segment has eight bits. In these five segments, first two segments contain humidity value in decimal integer form. This value gives us relative percentage humidity. First eight bits are integer part and next eight bits are fractional part. In this example, the humidity reading is composed of two values, 35 and 4 in hexadecimal. Then the humidity value is 53 plus 4 times 0 0.1 and equals 53.4. Next two segments contain temperature value in decimal integer form. This value gives us temperature in Celsius form. In this example, the temperature value is read as two values of 46 and 3 in hexadecimal. Therefore, the temperature will be 70 plus 3 times 0 0.1 and equal to 70.3 degrees Celsius. Last segment is the checksum which holds the sum of first four segments. Once data received, DHT11 ping goes in low power consumption mode till next start pulse. Here is an example code for communication between Arduino and DHT11. In this project, we connect data pin of DHT11 to pin 5 of Arduino, so we define pin 5 here. The data variable will be used to store 5 bytes of received data, while H and T are variables that represent humidity and temperature. In the setup function, we initialize the serial communication. To communicate with DHT11, we first clear all the variables. Then we enter the send request phase, by bringing the data pin low for at least 18 milliseconds. Here we delay 20 milliseconds just to be safe. To get feedback, we make the data pin a pallet input and delay a small time. Next, we check if the data pin goes low. And goes high. To read that return data, we count the time the signal is low and high, 40 cycles in total. Then we check if the level is 0 or 1 and concatenate in the data variable. Next, we check the data to see if the checksum is correct and calculate the humidity and temperature values. Finally, we print the results. This is the result of communication between DHT11 and Arduino. Above is the knowledge about DHT11, wish you have a nice day and see you next time.